In this video, we're going for a Cape Cod day hike to tackle a tricky dike crossing and find some great lighthouse views. This trail just starts off so cool with over a mile of hiking along this big dike. It was just so much fun hopping along the rocks. As you can see, I started the hike off at low tide. You should always start this hike off at low or lowering tide. You know you almost made it all the way across the dike when it curves a little bit. Now off to the woods end light which you can see in the distance, our first lighthouse of the day. I don't know what it is about lighthouses that are just so cool. I always love going and checking them out whenever I'm traveling. And now for quite a long pebbly walk along the beach. No joke, I think I emptied the sand from my shoes five or six times on this hike alone. Seals! You know you're reaching the end of Long Point when you see the Long Point light rising in the distance. If you're lucky, you could see a bunch of piping clovers. They have a nesting ground on Long Point as well.
Luckily, there are nice ropes set up to keep you away from the piping clover nests. It's on the inside of the loop that you see those nice views of Provincetown across the water. Gosh, that hike took a little longer than I expected. Look how high the water's gotten. And welcome back. That tide was giving me so much freaking anxiety. Oh my goodness. That was the Long Point Light Loop located near Provincetown on Cape Cod, Massachusetts. We followed a loop trail to both lighthouses across the dike that was around 5.7 miles total. The difficulty designation for this trail I think falls squarely and off the beaten path. Walking along the rocks of the dike was a little bit tricky. You could slip and fall there, so that makes it a little bit of a harder one. But at the end of the day, it was flat, a lot of flat sand beach walking so not that difficult. I just want to make sure I don't forget this very important warning. You must complete this hike at low or lowering tide. At high tide it is not possible to hike across that dike. The water comes up over top of the rocks. You can see the difference between the low tide when I started and the rising tide when I was finishing. So if you don't finish it in time you could get stranded. So please pay attention to the tide. Only start this hike at lowering or low tide. Now if you feel so inspired to go tackle this trail yourself. I have created a custom all trails map with pictures and landmarks that I have linked in the description down below. Now you clearly have to be able to have figured this out by now. Yes, of course I recommend the Long Point Light Trail. It was so much fun walking along the dike to get out to Long Point and then you know, two lighthouses for the price of one. Where can you get a better deal than that? I don't know anywhere else on the Cape where that is the case. You know, granted they did look a little bit the same, but yes, go definitely check them out. And hey, if you're lucky like me, you might be able to see some seals while you're out there just like I was. In the end, that's just my opinion. Let me know what yours was in those comments down below. And while you're down there, if you truly enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button. It helps me out a lot and helps other people find cool hiking videos just like this one and this other one that YouTube is recommending over here. Now go get hiking.